right, we're in uh, Shelby County, Alabama. I want to take a minute to look at this situation because uh, here's how here's how you can get a uh, small pumper to flow a uh, large volume of water. This Key Ridge Engine 101 is a thousand gallon a minute pumper, and we are trying to flow a thousand gallon a minute to that attack engine. So that becomes quite a challenge, uh, considering that early on he was running jet siphons. Let's look at what we did, or what they did. So this pumper has no high flow discharge. We got three intakes, right? So we have uh, a five inch intake, which would have been what the pumper was testing at, and running dual two and a half, one with the floating, one with a low level. And uh, we have auxiliary suction intakes, one on each side. So we'll take a look at the other side. So this thousand gallon in a pumper is taking water in through three ports. Here's the other side. You can see him sucking water in there and he's discharging through three two and a half. So one, two back here. And then the third was on the pump cap. So that's a really good example how I may not have a high flow discharge and I may not have uh, a 1500 gallon minute pumper but you take this older pumper with a thousand gallon minute pump and we're pushing a thousand to that engine plus drafting and, and doing some other stuff so uh, good job and a good example of how being a little bit creative and using those auxiliary suctions uh, to make a big difference.